I make beats and I sample. I use resources to sample music. Today's video is brought to you by SoundRaw, which is the tool and the resource that I'm going to use to sample to create some music. Let's get into it. So I've done a video on this before, but I've used it in a different type of way. For those that don't know, this is an AI music generator and it is copyright safe. It is royalty free. As you can see right here, you can try it for free. And if you like what you see and you want to get the paid version, I will leave a link that will get you 50% off down below. So let's get into this. I'm going to show you how I use it. So we're going to click generate music. I'm using this as a source another source to dig i'm going to dig so right here you can choose the genre the mood the theme and all this good stuff the tempo i'm going to keep the length at 30 seconds the tempo i'll choose slow and then the genre i'm just experimenting orchestra theme cinematic and i want to make sure piano is in there or keyboard so here is where i'm gonna start digging this is what they call e-digging, right? You know, and this is music generated from the website, from SoundRaw. And what's cool about this is these are royalty free and also generated by a team. Let me show you this real quick. We exclusively train our AI on music created in-house, making sure we don't jeopardize the well-being of the artists we admire. It also eliminates legal risks associated with copyright, current or future. You can use our music with peace of mind. So you're not worrying about companies that's training copyrighted material. These guys don't do that over here. I just wanted to show you guys that. Generate. Okay. Are those voices? Right here, I can change the volume and just get specific sounds. See what that sounds like. Or I could change the key. So y'all just watch me dig till I find something I like. It really speaks out to me. Let me see what that'll sound like with just the melody. Just the backing. I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a length to this so let's start with intense I want to hear how all these sound let's do quiet mid intense extreme outro so now you can hear all the intensities of this Okay, it doesn't look like it changes, but I'm curious about the instrument. That was the backing. It says organ. Let's change that to piano. Apply. Okay. 
Okay, I like that. That's kind of dope, okay? Let's see what this sounds like with the melody. Okay. That's what that is. Now, I could change that melody sound to be something different. It's on strings and then synth mallet. Just curious. Now that sounded like a, okay, I hear it. So it gives you different sounds for the melodies. It decided to add like a trumpet in there as well. So <laughs> that's interesting. So let's say you like that. And what I want to do is just have the backing, not the melody, because depending on the plan that you have, these are the different plans, by the way, for creator of 99 a month. So like if you have the content plan, you can use it commercially or use it for background, you know, for videos and podcasts, but you just can't distribute on Spotify and stuff like that. You would need one of these upper plans to do that. Just wanted to throw that out there again. Try it out and see if you like it. Back to the video. You can't get stems unless you have the artist pro or above. But there's a workaround. The workaround is just turn all the volumes down. Right. And just get what you want. And then you download it. I'm going to download it with the backing and the bass. I like that. And then we'll do melody. I like that. It gives you that option. So basically, all I'm doing is digging. I'm, let's find us some drums. What genre we want? Let's do funk and lo-fi. Just looking for drums. Okay, keep going. Nope, nope. that little fill in so i'll just download this whole thing so basically what i'm doing is i'm kind of creating my own loops within sound raw because then i'm going to bring it into my own daw so now we can bring in those samples i think i'm gonna use serato so now we flipping it in our own way Moving on to the next sample that we found. So this is the melody. And then we'll do this right here. Now let's chop this up. And I might even want to change the key again. This is what we normally do with samples. Do what you do. <laughs> I think I might want a different key. Take the melody, which was this, and transpose it like we did the other key. Add some delay to this. And then if you want to add more drums to it, your own drums or whatever, you can do that. This is what we do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when you have your samples chopped, you just add to it. Use your own sounds and do what you normally do. It's no different. It's what we do. So I'm going to add my own kick drum to this. might want to even add one more sound to it of your choice 
you know how we do again this is you making it your own you just using whatever as a tool let's go to retro sense it's always a go-to sound let me know would y'all use this as another source or a tool to make samples with or to even chop samples to dig you know what i'm saying that's how i'm using it and you see i made it into something completely different i made it my own so there you have it once again i will leave a link down below which will give you 50 percent off if you are interested and just try it out for free y'all let me know what you think it's your man jay field i'm sending peace and positive energy yeah.